Today I'm going to take a break from my usual fire watching and working on my truck AC and get back into my business schedule. Uh, I will be, this video I'm going to be cutting up bulb blanks, I'm going to be talking about my schedule for the next month. But first I want to show you something for all the skeptics out there that say why do you need to seal wood in latex paint or armor seal or wax or wax paint for that matter. I'll show you. This is a piece of oak board that I cut, oak burl board. You can see some of the nice burl figure. Anyway, I cut this on one of my previous videos somewhat, sometime back. And I sealed the entire thing in wax so that it is now flat. The reason it's flat is because it dries really slowly and evenly and uh, this way it you know, prevents any uh, warping or cracking. So this is, this is a nice board. This is you know, on its way to being dry, you know, maybe like a year or so. This, on the other hand, is a board that I did not seal in wax. Cracked, right? Pretty bad, huh? That's what happens when you don't seal it in wax, or paint, or some water-resistant coating. Yeah. Um, these are two of the cutoffs. These are two cutoffs that I had from, that I had left over from the top cutting video, and they both cracked and warped pretty badly. So, there's a good lesson in there somewhere, and that lesson is seal your wood. And that lesson is to seal your wood, because you don't want moisture escaping too quickly, and as a result, it cracking or warping. Okay. Now that, that that's out of the way, we are going to commence with a few. Um, this is this is very much like a blog a vlog video because it's not one thing I'm doing; it's it's accumulation of a bunch of things I'm doing. First, I need to I need to get my whiteboard. I need to draw all my plans or write all my plans for this month that I need to get done. All my projects before I go on the Michigan trip, um, including stuff on the truck. I might make videos about that, I might not. And second, lastly, or third, second, I'm going to be preparing a lot of wood for bowl blanks to be sold, and um, probably do something else, I'm not sure, but we'll see where this video takes us. Okay. Let's go to this month is June. Today is June fifth. Fifth, yeah. Um, first and foremost, the most important thing I need to do uh, because it's time sensitive is work on the truck, which means I need to work on the cargo box, tool rack, headliner. And that's probably good. Next, um, most time sensitive things. I've got a, a Jaguar body to finish. I probably should make some headway out of the iron caster. Ukulele. And lastly, business as usual. That's my list. I have all these things to do. Probably from most important, these two are, this guy's probably most important, but all the way down. And also, actually, it's not even from most important to least more, it's just all important. There you go, guys. This is what my month is, um, is all about. Next, uh, next thing I need to do is go back, grab some Keisha P logs, pieces, pieces of logs, and cut them into bowl blanks. Seal them probably. I was starting to cut this one, but the blade was way too dull, so I stopped cutting and just tore out this piece. And as a result, it started to crack right here because I didn't seal it, but I'll just cut into a smaller bowl blank.
Sadly, a lot of the extra wood is going to be thrown in the trash and back into a landfill. But the, my one, uh, my one you know, relief is that uh, the wood will decompose and it'll break down the, in the soil, and it'll be okay. This wood, however, has a different destiny. This wood will be sealed shortly with wax to prevent any cracking, and then it'll be put up for sale. My favorite thing about these little blanks, you know, other than the fact that they're really cute and make nice little trays or whatever, is that they fit in the flat rate envelope, which is which to ship is only seven dollars and twenty cents, which is awesome because the next step up, these guys cost about thirteen fifty to ship. So there's that really big jump, and um, that makes these little guys um, really really nice to sell because the chip, the shipping is so cheap. time for me to clean this up. Luckily with the matching effects of video editing, I can make this happen in just a short time. Like right. Wow, look at that. Editing magic. It's amazing. I don't have to clean. I hate cleaning. This way I don't have to clean. After a little bit of labeling and each one just size, I have my finished uh, lot of blanks today. This will pro I'll probably post this over two days. So this wraps up this uh, daily video. This is more vlog style where I do just where I where I video my whole day. This is it wasn't my whole day. This was only three or four hours of it. It's rush hour, so there's cars. Um, video quality goes down when it's rush hour. Uh, but yeah, this is a lot more vlog style. Um, I, I, I do this some days, I will do this some days when I don't have one thing that's super interesting, uh, in which case I'll just do just a whole mess of things through my day. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys like this. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment. And um, in the future videos, I'll be doing a vice restoration, which is already shot, it just has to be edited now. Um, I have a guitar build that I'm in the middle of, but by the time you see it, but by the time you see it, it will be finished in a few days. Um, and uh, I, I have a few more, but uh, you, you've seen the list. That list, that's everything I need to do this month. Almost all of it will be on, will be, uh, will be shown for you guys, will be made to content. Other than that, hope you guys enjoy this, hope you have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow for another daily video.